Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to answer a viewer's question about rib cage position. This question comes to us from a viewer named Sid. I do not know if I'm pronouncing his last name right, so I am just gonna not do it. And the question was about gun get-ups and rib cage position. When I coach gun get-ups, I coach rib cage down. The question was, why do you coach rib cage down for this position? I'm gonna give you about seven reasons. Uh, and if it's not exactly seven, don't hold me to that. One, front press position. So there are positions where people front press and they try to lift their spine up, lifting their heart towards the sky. I avoid that because I'm used to using extremely heavy weights. If you try to do a rib cage lift with an extremely heavy weight, not with a light weight, getting up into the 30 to 40 to 50 to 60 pound range, you're gonna find that that doesn't work very well, especially when you then try to combine it into something like a 360. If you were doing something like a mace press into a 360, what we would like to see is rib cage down so that you are resisting extension when you are in the 360 portion of the movement. Rib cage down is a cue that comes to us from a bunch of different disciplines. The first time I heard the rib cage down cue was in fighting. If you're going to get punched in the stomach very hard, you would like to not lift your rib cage up. You would like to drive your rib cage down, flex your abdominal wall, and breathe behind the shield. Make the abs as hard as possible so that you can take strikes without losing your air. You will hear the same cue in the original RKC coaching, RKC kettlebell Russian kettlebell challenge coaching, where when you press heavy weights, you lit, drive your arm up and you drive your rib cage down. Squeeze your glutes. All the cues are the same because they're trying to get you to activate your glutes, to flex the bottom of your core, drive your rib cage down, draw your belly button generally towards your spine, which, which is not an RKC cue, it's a Pilates cue, but it's the same general idea. And they're trying to get you to breathe behind the shield, to maximize your abdominal tension without pushing your abdominal wall out. There are martial arts and styles of lifting that push your abdominal wall out. I just don't like those cues. I go with more of a traditional Kung Fu cue when it comes to the abdominal wall, which is very similar to the RKC cues, which is very similar to, like say, boxing cues. Rib cage down also comes to us from things like circus arts. If you're doing something like rope or silk where you wrap your body up, you climb 30 feet in the air and you fall with a rope wrapped around your body, the same cue is there. Drive your rib cage down, squeeze your core as hard as possible, breathe behind the shield so that you don't get crushed by essentially a python rope fall. Pilates uses similar cues for similar reasons because Joseph Pilates was originally a circus performer. He was a trapeze artist. Ribs down when you're doing flying trapeze because it allows you to maintain abdominal wall contraction. And now for gun get-ups. Gun get-ups themselves are based on the cues of modern defensive pistol. Modern defensive pistol does not shoot rib cage up, shoulders out. There are old styles of shooting that may do that, single arm shooting, some other things like that from like the late 1800s, but modern defensive pistol uses many of the same cues as modern defensive fighting. Drive your rib cage down, wrap your body around, drive your shoulders up, to learn to absorb force. When people lift their rib cage up, they tend to compress their lower back and not absorb recoil well. So we are taking the cues from hard style kettlebelling, from heavy club swinging, the heavier the club gets, the more you want rib cage down, from heavy mace training for presses and 360s, for circus training, for Pilates, and for fighting, and for modern defensive firearms, and we are combining all of those cues into one thing. Are those cues the absolute best biomechanically? People will argue with that. There are many different schools of thought on biomechanical position, but I'm going to go with all the coaches I've ever had who use this cue, and we're gonna keep the reasons the same. The reasons are the same across all of those different styles of training, I don't know a single firearms coach who advocates ribs lifted. Not one, and I know a lot. I also don't know any fight coaches who recommend ribs lifted. Not one, 
Don't know any. I also don't know any circus coaches who recommend ribs lifted unless you're pausing to be pretty. Oftentimes, rib cage lift is associated with trying to look cool. Ballet dancers do it. People like Sandow used to do it back in the late 1800s because it made them look like ballet dancers. You'll notice a lot of the posing cues from the late 1800s for the original strongmen were circus performers and they used pieces of ballet cues in between strength lifts or in between tricks in order to pause so the crowd would know when to clap. So we're going to stick with the rib cage down cue because when you start to transition towards heavier and heavier weights with kettlebells, heavy club swinging, may swinging, gun get-ups, or Turkish get-ups, the cue is rib cage down. Side note, if you're training in armor and you lift your rib cage up, when you're doing a lot of armor training, you will notice your lower back doesn't feel good because when you lift it up, your discs kind of do this in your back and you are then compressing one side of your disc. So we're trying to take the discs of our spine and make them as level as possible at the low part of our spine, not at the high part of our spine, at the low part of our spine, so that we can integrate our core into one solid block. And we're trying to keep those coaching cues across all of the different activities that we do. There are some athletic cues which differ from that. Kettlebell sport does differ from that. They do have rib cage lifted position in a lot of kettlebell sport or kettlebell competition movements, but that is not always what we're doing. If you're coaching basic kettlebells for normal people, you will coach rib cage down. If you're coaching club swinging for normal people, rib cage down. If you're coaching mace for normal people, rib cage down. Anybody who suffers low back pain, the coaching cue is always rib cage down. Anytime you do fight training, the coaching cues are rib cage down. Anytime you do defensive pistol, the coaching cues will be rib cage down.